Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to draw a title block for the drawing sheet. So already I have drawn one rectangle for the A3 size and I have selected this title block for reference. With respect to that we are going to complete our title block over here. So if you just look out the dimensions for the title block, we have the total length for this title block 165 mm and the total height we have 65 mm and with respect to that we are going to create this title block at this extreme bottom right corner over here so to start with this let me select this rectangle command i have to select this corner point and i am going to create one rectangle over here so to have that rectangle for that required size if we just look out for this reference figure, we have total length is equals to 165 and height is equals to 65. So as I am going to draw this rectangle to the left side of origin, I have to take minus sign to specify my total length 165 mm. Again, I have to enter 65 mm height and press enter button. So like this, we have created one rectangle for the length is equals to 165 as mentioned here and height is equals to 65. So this total height we are going to divide into four segments. The first segment we have for the height 10 mm, the second segment we have 15 mm, again third one is for the 20 mm and last one is 20 mm. Again if you just look out at the bottom and the middle portion, we have this vertical portions over there. So this rectangle we have at a distance of 50 mm with respect to this corner point. Again with respect to this point we have a second partition at a distance of 65 mm and this will be the third rectangle over here. So before going to proceed for this first of all we have to extrude this drawn rectangle so that we can have a segmented line for this rectangle. As we have completed this rectangle by means of this rectangle command. If I just click over there, you can see the whole rectangle is going to be selected. Now to have a vertical or the horizontal segment line, we have to go with this explode option. So just click over there and select this drawn rectangle once and press enter button. Now you can see, if I just click over here, that particular segment is going to be selected. Now what we will do, first of all, we will just draw these horizontal lines at a given distance and that we are going to complete by means of this offset command. We can use copy command as well. I am going to draw it by means of offset command. So just click once over there. You have to specify the offset distance. Now for this first segment we have a distance 10 mm from this topmost corner. So I have to enter 10 mm distance for the offset. Again I have to select this object line and just move your cursor in downward direction so that we can have this line over there okay again to have this second horizontal line to which we have offset distance 15 mm again just go with this offset command specify offset distance 15 mm now we have to select this object and move your cursor in a downward direction so that we can have this second line as well over here Again, just go with this offset command, specify the offset distance 20, press enter button, select this line, again move your cursor in downward direction. So likewise, we have completed these horizontal lines. The first line we have at a distance of 10 mm, second line we have 15 mm distance, again to the third we have 20 mm distance. Now if we just look out over here at the base, we have this vertical line at a distance of 50 mm from this column. So again we can just go with this offset command, select this vertical line, okay, before that we have to specify the offset distance, so just enter 50 mm distance over there, again select this line and we have that line over there. Again we have to draw a vertical line at a distance of 50 mm, so just select this vertical line like this, again move your cursor to the right side. So by this way we can have these two vertical lines at a distance of 50 mm from this corner as well as from this corner. Now just press escape button to come out of this selected command. Now we can trim these extra lines that we have over here. So just go with this trim option, press enter button. 
Now just go on selecting this extra lines that we have in a second as well as third segment like this. I can just press escape button. Now this vertical line we have at a distance of 96 mm from this vertical line, isn't it? So just go with this offset command once again. Again you have to specify the offset distance 96 mm, press enter button, select this line and move your cursor to the right side. So by this way we can have that vertical line as well. Again just go with this trim command, press enter button and go on selecting the lines that we want to trim. So by this way we have completed the layout for this title. Once we complete this layout, the rest thing is that we have to type the title of your institute over here okay, as well as the title for the sheet. Again, you have to specify the name of the student, class, roll number, sheet number, year. So all these text we are going to incorporate over here by means of this text command. So just click over here the drop down menu you will find these two options now let me go with this multi line text i will use both these text types so first of all i will just prefer this multi line text just click once over there now it will ask specify the corner point now i am going to use this as a corner point as a starting point and this will be the last point so by this way we can have one cursor over the screen over there we can type our institute name so you have to type your institute name over here so in this case i am going to type d k t e textile and engineering institute now we can modify these text heights as per our requirement so that we can have the actual uh, fulfillment of this block over there and we can have the, all these characters placed properly so just select this written content and you can specify the height over here so i'm going to enter to 3.5 as a text type now you can see the change over the window again we can make it bold like this we can go for the different colors as well i'm going to select this yellow color now we can have these underlines as well again we can use this overhead lines and we can do the justifications as we have selected this as a corner point and as a starting point and this topmost right corner as a end point and by means of this justification option, we can just make middle and center for that selected space like this. Okay, so we have this institute name at the first horizontal rectangle. Now to come out of that, just click outside that rectangle and press escape button. Now you can see we have completed our institute name over there. Now once we done with this, we have to write this title, name, class, roll number over here. So to complete those things, let me go with this second option in a text, single line text. Now we have one message over the screen, specify start point. Now I will click somewhere over here. And again I will mention the text height as it was to 3.5. Again press enter button specify rotation angle is equal to 0 degree now you can see one cursor is blinking over this screen so just select the appropriate location with respect to that we can start typing all the content so here i am going to write title of my drawing sheet okay again just click over here so that we can have name of the students over here again below that we can mention the class of that student again here we can mention roll number again over here if we just click to have a sheet number 
we can just click over here and here we can complete here again if we just look out at this middle rectangle we have to mention starting date as well as submission date so just write started on below that we have to write submitted on and here we have to specify check the by so here the faculty will sign that sheet once it is get evaluated and over here we have to complete the first angle projection symbol because generally in India most of the drawings are going to be completed by means of first angle projection method that symbol we have to complete over here to complete that symbol just click outside this rectangle so that we can come out of this selected test command now we have to go with this circle option and just zoom this portion so that we can have two circles over here <coughs> select one appropriate point with respect to we can complete the two circles with approximate dimensions again select the same center point draw another circle again go with this line option select these two points so that we can have one vertical line over there and that we are going to make offset by selecting this offset command again you have to select the offset distance or we can just go with the copy command as well so already I have shown you how we are going to the offset command now in this case I will just go with this copy command so just select this copy command select this object press enter button specify the base point and you can just drag this copied line over here like this at a certain distance now just press enter button to come out of this selected copy command now again go with this line option just turn make sure that we have turned off this ortho mode command again just go with this topmost point drag this line so that we can have the intersection point over there so just click once over there press enter button again go with the line command again drag this topmost point so that we can have intersecting line for this first reference line okay similarly we have to drag these topmost points for this inner circle exactly horizontal so that we can have intersection point for this second line as well now to have the exact horizontal line just turn on this ortho mode command and we will get the two points over here okay so this will be the point for that second line again just press hit escape button again go with this line command select this point as well and click over here so by this way we have transferred this extreme points for these two circles horizontally over this two copied line again just turn off this ortho mode command go with the line select this point this point again press enter button again go with the line command select this point this point now we have to trim out the extra lines that we have drawn over here so just go with the trim option press enter button again just trim out these extra lines so by this way we have completed the symbol for the first angle projection method again we can delete this middle center line that we have taken for the reference so just delete it select and press edit button now once we are done with this first angle creation symbol we have to show center line for these two circles now to have that center mark just go with this annotate tab there you have to just click on this drop down menu for the dimensions and you will find one option center mark so just click on it and select a circle to which we want to show the center mark so just select that circle now you can see one center mark is going to be appear for the screen so this is 
all about completing this title block so that we can have all the details information of the constructor while completing this drawing sheet thank you